Hi, I'm Jennifer Dornbush and I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate and I am passionate about helping people learn how to detox their bodies, their homes, their environments, their offices, their families, so that they can really cleanse themselves and their environments from the inside out so that they are living healthier, they're living happier, um, and they just are less susceptible to illnesses and viruses and um, just creating longevity for people's lives. And I love doTERRA and I love partnering with doTERRA because they believe the same things and they have given us amazing, pure, pure products from the earth that help us do that through our in our bodies and in our homes. And one of the things that I did with my husband about eight or nine years ago is we really went through a detox plan for our lives and our homes and I want to share, um, people are always asking me, well, what does that look like for you on a daily basis, like in your home? How do you do that? And so this video, I just, I'm going to take you around my house and I'm going to show you the very simple things that we've done over the years to detox ourselves and our bodies. And um, before I do that, it's, it's important to kind of lay the groundwork here. Um, we're literally just living in a chemical soup. There have been studies done on babies on their umbilical cord blood that show there are 287 chemicals, substances that they are born with, which is, it's insane. Little babies who should be pure have all these, are born with all these chemicals already in their bodies. And so it just goes to show like, we really can't go anywhere without breathing in or through our skin, um, getting these chemicals into our bodies. And what that does is it really, uh, it slows down or damages our cells. And that's what is the cause of a lot of cancers, a lot of illnesses, a lot of sicknesses. It just overall weakens our system. And so um, that's what this video is all about. I just wanna show you some simple, easy ways that you can use to really start to detox your life. Okay, let's just start here in the bathroom because here is where we find a lot of products that contain carcinogens. Um, the, pro the, the components you're going to want to try to avoid are aluminum, alcohol, DEA, TEA, propylene glycol, sodium lauryl sulfate, talc, parabens of all kinds, uh, triclosan, phthalates, formaldehyde, lanolin, and any, any artificial fragrances. So that's a pretty big list, uh, and most products that you're gonna find like at your grocery store, at your Ulta, at your beauty counter, they are going to have these products in them, these components in them. So here's some things that I did for alternatives. So just let's start with our basic soaps, right? We need soap, okay. Um, we use uh, On Guard hand soap at home. Uh, also, we use, if we're not using that, we use just Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. And you can get this unscented and add your own scents with your essential oils, or you can get some of the scents that they have too. I use this for hand soap, I use this for dishwashing, you can clean the floors with it, you can use it in the shower. Very, very all-purpose and very pure soap. Also, I like to just use plain old bar soap in the shower. Just, this is a goat milk olive and honey. It has very, very few ingredients, fragrance-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, um, super simple soap. You could do um, Tom's of Maine. Dr. Bronner's also makes uh, a bar soap, and doTERRA has a great bar soap. All of them are super pure. So right there, you're cutting out all that list of chemicals. How about for the teeth, right? We have to clean our teeth every day. If you think about it, you're usually brushing your teeth at least twice a day. You might use a mouthwash. If you look in the ingredients of mouthwash or uh, just your basic Crest or Suck toothpaste, you're gonna find fluorides, you're gonna find alcohol, you're gonna find fragrances, you're gonna find lots of stuff that's on that list. You can simplify all this. Um, we use just a Tom's of Maine toothpaste. doTERRA also has a great On Guard toothpaste um, that's very, uh, pure, no fluorides. And then um, I found a recipe for a mouthwash. It is so super simple. Um, I just used this 16 ounce old kombucha bottle. Yay, you can use whatever bottle you want. You wanna make sure it's glass though and not plastic because the essential oils will leach, um, the plastic will leach in, into the essential oils and vice versa. The essential oils will break down the plastic. So this mouthwash is so simple, so easy, and so inexpensive. It's water, 
hydrogen peroxide, and then your blend of essential oils. I like to use On Guard, Clove, and Spearmint, or Wintergreen. Um, on Guard is really good for cleaning the mouth and, and it's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and then Clove is amazing for the teeth and gums, creating healthy teeth and gums. So I probably make a jar of this like every three to four weeks. Uh, now how about for the skin? I tend to have pretty dry skin, especially in the summer, and so when I come out of the shower, I, I wanna put something on my skin to keep it moist throughout the day. So what I decided to do is to go to um, an option of, it's a everyone lotion, and it's made with pure plant extracts and coconut oil. There are no parabens or phthalates or sulfates or any of that stuff in here. It's just, um, pure ingredients and because it has no fragrance this particular one is unscented then I can add my own fragrance so one of my fra favorite fragrances is geranium so I'll just put like a drop of geranium in my hand a pump of the lotion I'll mix it up and I'll rub it on my body in the morning and it doubles as a perfume it smells amazing I'll have people like give me hugs and like oh you smell so good and yep that's the geranium but you can use any scent that you want so uh, the other thing you could substitute for, if you prefer oil, you could use a fractionated coconut oil, you could use olive oil, you could use grapeseed oil, and mix that with your essential oil. And if, if doing a drop each day is too much work, just add it right to the bottle. You can, one of the things that I created, uh, this is, I call a skin clearing solution. And if, I, if you ever get like a little rashy skin, a little irritation, I'll use this, it has melaleuca, clove bud and oregano so they're very powerful antibacterial antifungal um, oils and i'll just put it in a little bit of carrier oil and if i am just you know you get a little rash maybe it's a shaving rash or just an a irritation to something i'll use this the other option i'll use um, is just straight melaleuca especially on the face if there's a little blemish or if i have a little cut this is just a roller ball that doTERRA makes of just melaleuca and the fractionated coconut oil. So I'll just keep that in the bathroom. It's kind of my little emergency skin oil. And then I also made this little blend. I call it the Muscle Relief. And this is also great for headache relief. Uh, you could put it on the bottoms of your feet. You can put it you know, anywhere you're feeling kind of tension. And this is rosemary, frankincense, lavender, and peppermint. So Let's talk skincare. I've always taken great care of my skin, thanks to my mom who really set us on an early age um, on a re regimen of how to take care of your skin with the cleanser and the toner and the mask and the moisturizer. So skincare to me is very important. And when I was making this transition to detox my body, I looked at all the skincare products I had and knew they had to go because they had stuff that was in that list the phthalates and the parabens and the formaldehydes and the fragrances. So I had to do research to figure out what could I replace them with that would be really good for my skin. And I stumbled upon this book called The French Beauty Solution by Mathilde Thomas. And she's the creator of the Claudelie skincare line out of France. And if you've ever seen Claudelie or gone into her store, you know it's a pricier product because it's, it's really good. And the basis of the product is grapes, red grapes. And uh, so I was reading through all this, learning all this about how to take good care of your skin and the properties that the grapes have and why they're so great for our skin. And what's amazing is she, she doesn't really promote her line that much in the book. She's really all about empowering us women to, to create better beauty regimens that are based in things that are more holistic and organic. And so she gives wonderful ideas to of how to make some of your own products and what to put in them. And again, the so I started to do that. And what I love about um, her products is that they're based in this thing called Reservatrol. And Reservatrol is a natural substance produced by the grapevines to protect protect them from daily micro traumas. There's a, a protective factor in the grapes that's the same kind of factor that allows Reservatrol to bind to certain enzymes in your body and enter your cells and activate your longevity genes as well as cancer fighting cells. So grapeseed oil, which is the basis for a lot of the recipe she gives, is really, really great for us. And I started out by making this little face wash. And basically it has water, Castile soap, uh, vitamin E oil or you could use a grapeseed oil and essential oils in it and you can kind of make it to the thickness that you want we just keep a bottle of this in our shower for morning and 
I also started to, once I started to become a doTERRA wellness advocate and I was looking into their skincare products, I was very impressed. And so I started using some of their products too. They have great skincare products. They have uh, just sort of a general skincare product, facial cleanser, has melaleuca and peppermint. They also have a whole virage line, but either either line is going to be pure. It's not, it's not going to hold those things in it, that list of... Um, of carcinogens. And then after the facial cleanser, I just use a toner that I make. It's so super simple. It's either it's distilled water or rose water and just a couple drops of witch hazel and then my essential oils. And what I'll put in this is usually um, lavender, frankincense, and cedarwood because they're good skincare, good for the skin, good properties of the skin, especially frankincense is a very anti-aging property. And the witch hazel just kind of helps to, to break down the essential oil so that it, you make sure that it gets mixed in with the water because oil and water don't mix. So I'll just spray this on my face morning, night, or just when I'm feeling like it needs a little boost. After that, I use this serum that I make. I have been loving this serum. This was a um, Claudeline inspired serum. It is simply grapeseed oil and any essential oil of my choice. I usually put cedarwood, frankincense, sometimes lavender, sometimes geranium, because they're really good for the skin, especially the frankincense, because again, it's anti-aging, it really gets into the cells and kind of helps rejuvenate them and recycle them. So that's it. And I'll, I just bought this little container from oillife.com. They have great little containers. It's a pump. It, never, it just presses down and comes back up, press it back down, add your ingredients. When I need to take my eye makeup off, I have this little guy. Now this is fractionated coconut oil, and then I'll put ylang ylang, cedar wood, and lavender. A little bit of this on a cotton pad, wipe off my eye makeup, done. So after my facial serum, I'll use this. This is a moisturizer, a coconut cream corrective moisturizer. I have found this, I supplement my own, making my own products with doTERRA and this other company called Eminence. Eminence is a natural organic skincare line out of Hungary. You can buy their products online at buynaturalskincare.com and um, they're just a really superior company and my skin needs a little bit more moisturizer and I, I love their products. I love this little guy, strawberry rhubarb, dermafoliant. You just use it with your cleanser and it just acts as kind of like a micro scrub. This little guy has probably lasted me two years because you just use just a little powder and they have a ton of other products on, on their website. They're all so good. So if you're not into making your products, use Eminence, use doTERRA. Um, you'll know that you're getting the purest products without carcinogens. I used to use Burt's Bees chapstick. My lips get dry very easily and I got inspired to see if I could make my own because Burt's Bees is what, two, two to three bucks? A pop and I thought you know I found this recipe so I decided to try it it's shea butter coconut butter beeswax and essential oil so you take two tablespoons of each and actually I like to go a little heavier on the shea butter because it turns out a little creamier so I'll pull back on the beeswax and do a little bit more shea butter but one batch of two tablespoons each makes 17 to 20 of these tubes and you can just grab these tubes on Amazon and then add your essential oils this one is spearmint and orange yummy Let's talk about a couple other things that um, that us women face. And um, first one is body odor, of course. And so we're talking about deodorants. We, we need to have deodorants, but a lot of deodorants have aluminum in them. So it's really important to, to try to find deodorants that don't have aluminum. A couple of the brands that I really like and that we use um, are Tom's of Maine and then doTERRA also has a lemongrass, melaleuca, bergamot, and cedarwood. The other thing I'll sometimes do is just put on geranium oil. Some people will use melaleuca, especially um, men or, or teens. Again, you kind of have to play around with which oil is going to work best for your body chemistry. The second thing I want to talk about is poo-pourri. We've all seen those cute commercials on television and you may, even, may have even tried the product. And um, if you look at the list of ingredients, don't be surprised to find some of those carcinogens. However, you can make your own version of poopery at a fraction of the cost with a little glass bottle, some distilled water, and some essential oils of your choice. 
So I, I like the I like to do spearmint in wild orange or peppermint in wild orange. But you could do citrus with like wild orange, bergamot, um, lemon, grapefruit. You could do more of a woodsy scent with sandalwood and vetiver and myrrh. For that those times of the month that we have as women, um, to kind of balance our hormones, there's two um, products. I want to talk about that I I have started using that have really made all the difference and I have to say too that since I did detox my body and um, have been doing this for a while and eating healthy and putting healthier things on my body and in my environment that I don't have as severe of PMS symptoms and the hormones don't fluctuate as much as they used to so the body starts to operate and work as it should in a more balanced way. So one way I like to balance my um, hormones is through a blend that I call the Women's Blend. And it includes, I got a peek, it includes cypress, geranium, ylang ylang, and clary sage, 10 drops of each. Um, you can go a little heavier on the clary sage. Clary sage is one of the oils for balancing hormones. It's amazing. And then uh, my naturopath introduced me to this. This has saved my life. Um, I don't like taking medicine. I don't even like taking Advil or Tylenol if I don't have to. Um, but sometimes we do get cramps, we get pains, and Magna Levures is basically magnesium. They're little ma magnesium sachets that you just dissolve in water, one sachet, and they act as a muscle relaxant. So if you're having cramps, instead of running for your your Advil, run for one of these. You can buy them online. I get them at pureformulas.com and just try, it's amazing, within like five minutes, 10 minutes, it just kind of relaxes everything and the cramps are gone. And you can use this for other muscle related, you know, if you have, if you've been exercising a lot and your muscles are sore, but it's, it's great for just um, a great replacement for, for Advil or Tylenol. And now we can talk about a few bedtime routines that will help us get better rest and therefore be healthier and happier people. The first thing, I always have my diffuser on at night. So I'll get it set up, it's by my bed or somewhere in the room. And for a lot of people, lavender is a really calming, soothing scent that really helps calm them down and, and sort of lull them to sleep. For me, it kind of has the opposite effect. That's okay, everybody's a little different, which is why it's important to kind of play around with essential oils and see which ones work best for your body chemistry. But what I have found that I love that just kind of puts me in a trance and lulls me to sleep is vetiver. And this is, I love this oil. This bottle will last you like six or more months because look how sticky gooey, ooey, sticky this oil is. It's so good. Earthy and yummy. Um, comes from Haiti. And you just really, a drop is so powerful. And a lot of times I will mix it with this blend that doTERRA has called Serenity. And there are several different oils in Serenity. If I can see, cedar wood, ho wood, ylang ylang, chamomile, majorum, vetiver, vanilla, and Hawaiian sandalwood. So it has a sweeter scent, and when you blend the two of them together, it's just this really lovely like scent that just sort of lulls me right to sleep. The other thing I, three things I like to do, I have handy by my bedside, are this little jar, and in this little jar is coconut oil, not the fractionated coconut oil, but just regular coconut oil, and then I'll mix it with maybe lavender, geranium, uh, cedar wood, kind of whatever I'm feeling, and I use it as a it, to, as a hand moisturizer at night before I go to bed. I also have my trusty, rusty chapstick that I make. I like to have this little blend at the bedside too. It's called the MoFo blend, and MoFo stands for melaleuca, oregano, frankincense, and on guard. And so I just put the, those in equal parts in this little bottle with fractionated coconut oil, and I just will rub it on the bottoms of my feet before I go to bed, or your spouse, or your kids, whoever. And this is a super powerful, uh, they call it kind of like the anti-flu, but it's basically, an, an everything in here is some of the most powerful oils for like antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Okay, we're in the laundry room and I'm gonna show you what we did to detox our laundry. It's a three-step process, super easy. It started with making our own laundry soap. It sounds intensive, it is so not intensive. 
I make a double batch. It lasts us several months. All that's in it are four simple ingredients. Dr. Bronner's bar soap, shaved, baking soda, washing soda, and essential oils. And then you, you shave the soap, you mix all the powders together, you add your essential oils, and there you go. And you use about a quarter cup. Uh, if you have a high efficiency, you use about a quarter cup. That's it. Uh, fabric softener. If you look at the ingredients of the fabric softener, you're going to be appalled at how many carcinogens are in fabric softener. Simply use a vinegar, a cleaning vinegar, and a couple drops of essential oil, lavender, or whatever your choice. And then for dry, instead of dryer sheets, which also have a lot of chemicals on them, I just made my own dryer balls out of wool. You can buy these if you don't want to make them, but if you want to make them, they're super simple. And I think we have about seven or eight of these in the dryer. I'll add a few drops of the lavender oil onto the dryer ball and get it going. It's not only great for like reducing the static cling, but it also helps fluff the clothes and it's supposed to help dry them faster. Let's talk kitchen and cleaning. And I think you're going to be surprised at how simple this is. It may even seem like a little too simple, but you have to try to get out of the mindset of being a consumer. When you go into your Walmart, Walmart and your Targets and your grocery stores, there are tons of cleaning supplies, tons of things for the bath and the kitchen and the floors and this and that. And it doesn't, it can be very, it doesn't need to be this complicated. It can be very, very simple to clean your bathroom and your kitchen and your home and also very cost effective and also of course very clean. So one of the products that I use that I actually again make myself with doTERRA essential oils is I got this glass bottle because remember you want glass for essential oils, water, vinegar, and essential oils. I use On Guard. You could use lemon. You could use peppermint, grapefruit. You could use melaleuca. Uh, melaleuca is great for the shower because it's very antifungal. So again, you can create um, any concoction you need for the bath, for the kitchen. You can spray this on kitchen counters. You can spray this on your shower. You can spray it on the floor to clean up messes. This is a very, very all-purpose cleaner. You can use it on glass. Pretty much can clean your whole house with this. I have been using Bon Ami forever and ever. Uh, bon Ami is America's original natural home cleaner. Hypoallergenic, no clearing, chlorine perfumes or dyes. This is just feldspar, surfactant, soda ash, and baking soda. So it's super, super pure. You can do your sinks with these, your tubs, your tile, um, even your toilets. So again, two products and you pretty much have your whole house clean. Then I go back to the Castile soap. This is a soap that I use in to wash dishes and to wash hands. This one is eucalyptus. I love that scent. But they have rose, they have lavender, they have orange, they have unscented, and you can scent your own. I love this. It's so fresh and clean. You can do your floors with this. Um, you can wash countertops with this. You can wash your babies with this. If you're thinking about dusting, um, cedarwood oil, lemon oil are great for dusting. You can add those to um, like an olive oil and you can dust your furniture. And then I also like to use these. This one my sister gave me, it's called the Amazing Cloth. Let me tell you how amazing this cloth is. This is a reusable cloth, washable reusable cloth, and it cleans mirrors, stainless steel, windows, any hard surface. I've used it on my stove and you just need water and it dries, it just dries on its own. So all, it takes care of all the streaks. So my amazing cloth, it's basically like a fiber cloth. So any great fiber cloth you could use for like countertops and stoves or for dusting. So that's it, that's all I use for cleaning. It's super easy. Okay, what about floors? How do you clean floors organically and without chemicals? And as you know, there are so many products out there for cleaning floors and they are just not necessary. And not only that, but they're spreading chemicals around your whole house. So here's what I do, it's super simple. I vacuum my house first and I have a lot of um, linoleum and wood in my, in my house. So then what I do is I steam it. I have a steamer. Uh, basically this, this is a Bissell. This just got on Amazon. Yay, it looks like this, kind of looks like a vacuum cleaner, but at the bottom is the steamer part. You put this pad, this pad you can wash, you throw it in the washing machine, wash it up, you put the pad on the bottom, you plug, you put the water in the receptacle here, you plug this thing in and it heats up, it has three different settings, heats up, and you basically just run it over your floor. It acts like a mop, but better because it really gets um, 
it's it's like kills like 99.9% .9 of the bacteria and things that are on your floors and it leaves it just spotless and it's just water you only need to use water and if you want to have a little fun or a little scent it, um, you can sprinkle a little essential oil on the floor you would never want to put it in the receptacle but you just you know I might sprinkle a little lemon a little grapefruit and just to kind of give it that scent to clean it with the oils but it's so easy and I know that I have not put chemicals all over my floor of course, I would be remiss without talking about water purity and the importance of that in, in detoxing and keeping ourselves and our bodies clean. It doesn't matter where you live, good chance is that your water it has chemicals in it or is contaminated in some way. So one of the safest things to do is to get a water filter. And I'm not talking about a Brita container pitcher that you put in the fridge. I'm talking about we need some big guns here. So when we, when my husband and I went through this, we researched water filters and we found that um, Amway has great water filtration systems. There are many other companies out there that have really wonderful water filtration systems. Some sit on the counter like this, some go underneath right into your water source under the sink, but really just invest in a really good water system. And then the other added thing you can do to your water, which I always do every day, is I have my water bottle that I take with me and I will just add a few drops of lemon every day. Lemon is a really good detoxifying agent for the body, so is grapefruit. Grapefruit's another great one and I'll just put it in here. And today I'm gonna add a little bit of mint from my garden as well because that sounds kind of good. Just a couple more tips and these are from the kitchen and three things to remember in this process of trying to detox your body and your life and your environment. And that is first of all, whenever possible, please, please, please choose organic fruits and vegetables. Know where your food is coming from. We really are what we eat and the nutrients really do affect us on a cellular level. Second thing, which I think is really important, and I, one thing I did when we were switching over is I went from using a lot of plastics to using glass. So glass storage containers, glass bottles, um, I'm not perfect, but for the most part, everything in my house has been replaced with glass. So I'm trying to always store things in glass. I even like to store my spices in glass. The third thing which we did, and this was a bit of an eye-opener to me, I never thought about my cookware and how my cookware was affecting what was getting into my body, what sort of things were being leached from Teflon or from steel or the other types of cookware I was using. So our naturopath um, recommended that we use a cast iron base that's coated in ceramic. So the, the pans that we chose were Le Creuset. They're a great investment. It took us a little while to, to get them because they are not cheap. We have loved our Le Creuset set and this is a set that we can pass on. It will last for generations. So organic glassware and cookware and you will be well on your way to detoxing your kitchen. Of course, I do not leave home without some essential oil routines in my car as well. So I always travel with this little guy. It's my car diffuser and it just sits in the cup holder. You just add water into the receptacle and your favorite essential oils and it plugs right into the cigarette lighter, hand sanitizer. And this little guy, I just made my own. Of course, you can buy the On Guard spray. You can make your own. This is just aloe vera water. I think a little bit of vitamin E oil, On Guard lavender. I also travel with a little lotion in my car. My hands get dry a lot here in Southern California. So I just take that unscented organic lotion. I add my own essential oils to it and voila. Oh, my homemade chapstick always travels with me. I also travel with two little roller balls. Um, this one is one I made called Trust, but it's for, it's more of a perfumed roller ball. So if I forget to perfu put perfume on in the morning, I can just do a little swipe. I always travel too with past tense. This is a wonderful little roller ball. It's a blend. Um, it's got wintergreen, lavender, frankincense, cilantro, majorum, chamomile and basil and rosemary. And this is what they call the headache blend or the tension blend. And I like to keep it in the car because a lot of times I might wake up with tense shoulders or neck or after work, after being on the computer all day. So you can adapt your own car routines, but those are the things I always keep in the car. 
And maybe you've been watching this and you've been thinking, yes, this is what I need. I need more of this. I want my environment to be better. I want my family and friends to be healthier. And I just want to learn more. If that's you right now, I would love to help you on your journey wherever you are at. Please reach out to me at my email address and let's set up a time where we can have a wellness consultation and we can just really talk through where you are and where you want to be and what steps we can take to get you there. So thank you so much. God bless.